Do we know exactly what's in our IT estate? Drive decisions with IT visibility. Right now, as you're making major strategic decisions for your organization in the coming year, you're using the IT asset data that's available to you. Too often, those decisions are based on inaccurate, out-of-date, and incomplete data. As reported in the 2021 State of IT Visibility Report, most organizations have some limited view into their IT estate, but only 24% find their data completely reliable. According to Flexera's 2021 State of TechSpend Report, IT leaders report that not having enough good quality data is a significant challenge to decision making. Without reliable data, implementing decisions is too slow and decisions take too long to make. Reliable data builds a fact-based conversation in order to get consensus from stakeholders and executives. And as we know that digital transformation is a goal for many CIOs, process automation and IT requires good quality data. Without this reliable data, critical decisions are slowed or halted, like understanding which business services are most integral to the organization and those that generate the most revenue in order to improve their performance, knowing which workloads should be moved to the cloud, upgrading or replacing applications that are end of life or support, and are opening risk to the organization, and mitigating other risk factors such as vulnerabilities through patching and updating. It's impossible to make those informed data-driven decisions if you don't have the comprehensive view of your IT estate that would inform those decisions. You can't identify overspend, you can't pinpoint waste, you can't effectively reallocate resources when you can't see what you need to manage. The best place to start getting a consolidated singular view of your sprawling IT landscape is through a common language of quality data. A good way to look at quality data is as the foundation to your organizational initiatives. Whether you're managing on-prem, cloud, SaaS, IS, PaaS, or any other technology, you need to know how it all works together and rolls up to support your business services, both those that drive your organization and those that you supply to customers. Once you understand both your environment and the dependencies of that environment, you can reduce risk, things like compliance and vulnerability management, and maximize efficiency, for example, automation, governance, IT request improvements. Think of IT visibility here as your foundation. And without a strong foundation, it doesn't matter what you build on top of it. It will fall apart. Many IT service management, IT financial management, and vulnerability tools are great tools, but often they're missing foundational components like quality CMDB data, for example. And that's where Flexera helps strengthen a business foundation. Start with building your data for a common language across your business. This includes contextualizing and normalizing your data toward a standard understanding. No matter which team, be it IT operations or security, uses it. Technopedia sets the standard. Flexera has cataloged every IT product in the industry across software, SaaS, and cloud. Then normalizes your data, manufacturers, names, versions, against this catalog to resolve your bad data. Made up names and unrelated specs, extraneous details, all consolidated, cleaned up, and now your data is correct and useful again. All of your existing investments, be it a Tanium or SCCM or others, can finally speak the same language toward common initiatives and be used in conjunction. How is this all possible from a single solution, you may ask? As we noted in passing earlier, IT visibility's normalization and enrichment is powered by Technopedia, the most comprehensive and trusted source of IT asset data in the world. Technopedia is incomparable. Not only the breadth and coverage of 4.3 million products and 100,000 manufacturers, but the real key is that Flexera's research teams make over 4,500 updates daily. We are a data business. As data gets stale almost instantaneously, it's more important than ever that it be as up-to-date as it possibly can be. So let's get into the specs of how Flexera's normalization works. We've talked about the important numbers around the data, but let's focus on the real business problem. You've got loads of tools, as we mentioned earlier, but what do we do with all the data from and for these tools? When you have the data in Flexera 1, you have one view of IT. You can govern and control your asset risk. You can meet the audit and regulatory requirements from regulators, and you can start reducing risks and costs, but maybe most importantly, you're going to increase productivity. Now, no one on your team or in your IT organization is manually entering data anymore, and they're not trying to normalize it. That problem is gone. 
you can now re reallocate those people and those resources to more important things like figuring out what you need to invest in and how you can attack strategic initiatives using this data. Let's look at a business application view. Here you can view the entire IT estate as it relates to your business services and applications. Establish key measures for current state of, of the plan, prioritize and remediate risk as it relates to the applications and IT inventory that power your services, be those internal or external, for example, CRM or an online and mobile banking app for your customers. Here we can see a holistic view of the entire software portfolio and how it relates to end of life on the left. Versions, manufacturers, categories, and products, among other attributes, are available to understand where complexity and risk exists in your environment and to establish high level governance metrics. Some sample observations we can see here are that there is a high number of software products and versions. And we can understand end of life risk by seeing that a large percentage of our end of life software is in productivity areas. From there, we can drill and export for use across the organization. We can provide the ability for category and product owners to govern and manage their respective areas and answer questions like, who are my top vendors installed? Which vendors represent my top risk related to lifecycle management? And which products should be remediated or updated? Some sample observations here we can see from our view into the product is that 50% of our database management software versions are installed are installed are obsolescent. So they're end of life or ends of support. And Microsoft database products, specifically SQL Server, represented our highest risk. Low level normalization drives top level governance and consistency. From a top down view, we can see how you can manage asset life cycles as well as transparently view the normalization process and dive in deep at any point to see the details, especially here as they relate to lifecycle management and sprawl in your estate to reduce risk and costs to your organization. Here we can see a holistic view of the entire hardware portfolio and how it relates to end of life on the left. Manufacturers, categories and subcategories, and products among other attributes are available to understand where complexity and risk exists in your environment and again establish high level governance metrics. We can see from some, some sample observations here that the majority of end of life risk exists primarily in the servers and end user computer areas and overall end of life hardware represents a high percentage of our physical device footprint. See hardware vendors by the number of installs for prevalence in the IT estate and dive further into vendors with the most end of life or end of support devices to effectively mitigate that risk we talked about within your organization through planning for upgrades and refreshes to aging infrastructure. It all starts with getting a baseline view into what you have in your IT estate. Visibility into your IT estate, including normalization and enrichment of your assets, increases productivity exponentially while risks and costs are driven down due to better decision-making opportunities created through contextualization of your data. Lifecycle data, as mentioned, prioritizes updates to end-of-life and end-of-support software and hardware that can be both a drain on resources as well as a vulnerability risk. Vulnerability posture information helps mitigate the threat of a breach to your organization that could cost millions in ransomware and data recovery efforts. Once processes are built and streamlined, they need to be optimized for maximum ROI and aligned to business initiatives. Luxera not only helps organizations build an effective license position or an ELP, but supports continuous compliance. Through governance in Flexera One, your organization can eliminate wasted SaaS spend, example, unseen or unused applications you're paying for, reallocate IT assets throughout the organization, for example, request and reharvest software, and automate management of key processes like self-service, lifecycle, and cloud management. Flexera One is a new way to access that critical information and take action through a single user interface, while at the same time making your ITSM, ITFM, and other applications significantly more effective. Flexera One takes your collected data and turns it into a common language that can be shared across your ecosystem, so business decisions can be made with utmost confidence. Some vendors have data, but is incomplete or only fit 
for purpose within their tool. This perpetuates the data challenge across the enterprise as the customer is left trying to integrate the various vendor IT asset perspectives. It all starts with the data. If you have clean and curated data, you can feed that into your IT ecosystem. Organizations need tools that are purpose-built to implement IT data and gracefully handle the disruption that enterprises are experiencing on, on a near daily basis. Supporting better insights, decision-making, and action-taking across the various solutions that power enterprise technology today is key to success. To learn more about IT visibility, visit Fluxera.com.